Oloria Dironke have finally spoken about people who are saying that they are hypocrites. They could not even calm down or whatsoever it is that is in their minds to, you know, just wish their husbands a happy birthday because it so happened so bad. It became so bad that these women never cared whatsoever happens. They just did whatsoever it is that they want to do. They just came out to do whatsoever it is that they feel they can do and they never cared about the outcome. And now the outcome is that people began dragging them that they claim they are meant to be on his wife. They want to remain in the palace. They don't want to live by all means, but at the same time, they are not living up to expectations. How can your husband's birthday come? A husband who even proposed divorce and you said, no, we stay in this marriage till the end. And now you cannot even wish him a happy birthday. And Olivia De Ronke is out telling everybody who have found pleasure in dragging her that <clears throat> it is only one person that matters. And once the person is capable of wishing a happy birthday, it is over. It is, it, it is okay, more than enough. And by this one person, we all know that it is Olori Naomi. Yes, by this one person she referred to. We all know that it's Olori Naomi. But you see, these women have come to a point of realization that only doesn't want them. Yes, he doesn't want them. But now the big question is, if you know that only doesn't want you and you are so convinced that yeah only doesn't care if i exist if i am in the palace if i am there or not then why must you why must you stay like why must you insist on staying because now it is more like only brought a divorce before this woman that see this marriage thing eh, me i no one do am again and the whole thing don't over me like it don't tire me you see this thing of uh, carry plenty wives, get this one, get that one. Eh, me and no one do them again. And now all of them gather. You understand? All of them said, see, you see this marriage, since we've been gathered start time, we go finish them. They all said it. They said they were not going anywhere. They said they were doing this thing to the end with him. They were going to make sure that wherever there are loopholes, they will come in to cover up. They were going to look into the whole, like, they are not going anywhere. That's just the conclusion of it. And that was what they said. So now not living up to expectation, it is beginning to be quite weird and off. Because according to the statement she made, it is more like, um, we are just there for being sake. Because there is another person that is more preferable. Yes, once the person comes to say happy birthday, it is over, it is done. Like every single thing is settled. It is okay. But if we want to weigh these things right, I, I'm not sure it has been like that over the years. Yes, whether she is there or not, they come to do the right thing. Like if there are some, some rites that are meant to be performed, some things that are meant to be done, everybody does it. But you know, in this case, these women are categorically stating this. This is tell that word. They are pained in one way or the other. This thing as well has, has, has developed pain over time inside of them. And if you would want to, if you would want to call this thing they are doing and tell them that, ah, it is wrong, go. See, if you don't want to live up to responsibility, live up to expectation and do what is right, then just accept the divorce and leave. They will tell you that, ah, only is my husband though. I am not going anywhere. I am staying. I am doing this. I am doing that. And right now, you know, they are beginning to play that jealous and a victim wife. Because for them not to come out to wish their husband a happy birthday, and then Olivia De Ronke now categorically saying that uh, since Olivia and Naomi uh, would wish the happy birthday and do whatsoever it is needful, then it is settled. Them, they are just there. They, they are just watching whatsoever happens. That's to prove that what they have now become the victims of this whole circumstance. Yes, we know that they are... They are the ones who have been pulling all of these stunts over the years. They are the ones who have been making sure that things go bad. They are the ones who have been making sure that there is chaos in the palace rather than peace. We know that. We know very well that they are the ones who have made sure that things doesn't end up the way they are supposed to end in the palace. We know very well that these women have done a lot and a lot of things that does not add up, yet nobody has dragged them for it. But then all of a sudden, they come out to come and, you know, pull up all of this taunt. And then it begins to be quite alarming, very, very alarming. That, ah, how come? Because if you'd want to judge right or weigh the options right, once you said that no divorce is happening, 
yes, we remain a family. You are obliged to do what a family would do. Yes, if the only calls you today that come and pass a night in the palace, I want to be with you today, you would come because when he said, let's have a divorce, you said no divorce. So you definitely have to live up to expectations of that person whom, whom would, where is a wife and who have refused that there is no divorce. We are fighting these battles within ourselves down to the end. So right now we begin to wonder day after day what exactly these women want or what exactly they hope to achieve. Because from this very show of attitude, it begins to be a proof that they just want to be there, have control, have access and destroy. Yes, it is not more than that. Because right now it is not more than that. Because they refuse to leave and are refusing to do that which a wife should do. So what are you going to call whatever it is that they are doing? Well, Olivia Deronke has always been a destroyer. We know her for that. Olivia Deronke is one person whom prefers destroying things than to building. And over the years, we have known her to be one person whom things have not really, really favored in the palace. If we speak of people who have been at the bad end of things in the palace, you would know that Olivia Deronke is one on the top list. Because even people like Miriam, at least they succeed in one way or the other. But you see Olivia Deronke, every single thing she indulges in, every single thing she gets herself in, it ends up bad. It comes out bad. Yes. At some point, people were saying that she should learn how to plan before she acts. Because it is more like she just wakes up in a day, an idea drops in her head, then she begins to do it. But now it has gone far beyond that. Now we are seeing jealousy written all over this woman. We are seeing jealousy prevailing in them. We are seeing jealousy speaking right in their eyes like this. And it is no longer something that someone might want to embrace or someone might want to hold on to. Or someone might want to say that, ah, this is a good thing. No, because it is not. It is not a good thing. These women have done these things over and over again. And then becoming a part of them, it doesn't make sense at any point at all.